guys, what's going on? This is DJ TLM. You're watching DJ TLM TV. It's almost the end of the year, but I still want to drop a couple of videos before we start 2015 with a brand new schedule and a lot of new videos and even some new items. And I will get into all of that in some upcoming videos. But I want to talk about a topic that has been requested over and over and over. And I have to be honest with you guys. I've been dodging the question and I've been stalling. And that is organizing your crates, organizing your music. If you're a digital DJ, you're going to have digital crates, folders on your laptop where your music is stored. And it's very important that you organize that music in a way to make it easier for you to DJ. So it doesn't matter if you're using Serato, Tractor, Mix Vibes, uh, Virtual DJ, you're going to have crates, you're going to have music, and you're going to have to organize that music. There's a hundred different ways to organize. I've tried all sorts of things, and the reason why I've been stalling is because I don't really have the answer. This is one of the things that has always been a problem for me, and I've organized and reorganized my crates over and over. Now, I know what my ultimate goal is when it comes to my crates, so I wanna talk about that, and today I'm gonna to talk about this topic, and I can tell you right now that I'm gonna do at least one more video, and I'll do some screen capture stuff to show you my actual laptop or computer, and uh, show you some crates, and give you some more tips so again this is a topic where there's definitely not one answer because different djs are going to have different needs and it all depends on what your goal is and what your philosophy is when it comes to playing music so there's not one answer but i'm just going to share my thoughts and very important and you know this is important to me when it comes to sharing the knowledge you might be able to help other people as well so if you have a method of organizing your music and it works for you, please share in the comment section because you might be helping out tons of people because I know a lot of people have problems when it comes to organizing their music. So there are a lot of different things to talk about. I wanna to start to talk about my ultimate goal when it comes to my crates. My ultimate goal when it comes to organizing my music is to make my crates as small as possible. Yes, in this digital age, when it's become so easy to bring a lot of music, and I used to bring a lot of music when I was playing with vinyl, but now it has become even easier to bring a lot of music, bring a lot of music. I wanna make my crates as small as possible. I've seen DJs come into a club with a laptop and they had like an external hard drive and they were telling me like they have 400 gigs of music there. It makes no sense. Now, I understand the thought process. You're thinking, if I bring all my music, I will be able to play anything, which is true. But keep in mind, and through experience, I've learned this because I made crates in the past that were filled with like gigs and gigs of music. If you're playing in a freestyle manner, the way I play, I play freestyle. This means I have no set track list. I start a song, and once that song is playing, I'll go to my crates, I'll pick a specific crate, and I'll start scrolling through the songs. If you have 10,000 songs within that crate, that's gonna be a lot of scrolling. Even if you organize by BPM, by tempo, you're still probably gonna have a lot of tracks that fit that right tempo range. And it's gonna take up a lot of time. In my experience, I kinda lost sight when I had too much. And this happens to people a lot. Imagine if you're gonna buy a drink, you don't know what you wanna drink, you're walking in and they have like a fridge with a hundred different types of soda. You could be in there for like half an hour just picking a soda. I don't have a half an hour when I'm looking for my next track to play when I'm in a club. So too many tracks made it more difficult for me. Even though it gives you more choices of songs to play, you have to register every song when you're scrolling and in the second that you see that song, you have to think, will this fit what I'm doing right now? So a lot of times I had songs in my crates that I liked, but that weren't even fit for the club or a festival. They weren't really usable, playable tracks. I liked them and you might like a lot of songs, but you have to think to yourself, is this song playable when it comes to my party situation? And a lot of times, if you buy albums, maybe half or more of the album is not suitable for the club. It might only be three or four tracks. So 
you might love the whole album, but in a club situation, probably three or four tracks are usable. So don't bring the whole album, only bring those three or four tracks. So what I wanna do now is talk about my ideal crates. I wanna make them as small as possible. So I want my crates, whatever genre, I'm not gonna get in, into that right now, but I want all of the crates in my files to be as small as possible. So the first thing I want those crates to contain is sure shots. In every genre that I play or might play at parties, I wanna have the sure shots right there. And when I say sure shots, I mean tracks that I know will get the right reaction from the crowd. So you could call it hits, and hits not, a hit is not always something that is popular in the charts. It might just be a club hit, popular in the club, but a track that when you put it on, you know that you're gonna get a positive reaction from the crowd. So that's the first thing I want in those crates. Now why I say that it's a lot of work is because I do have a large collection of music and I'm gonna to have to go through that entire collection and out of every genre, I'm gonna to have to pick all the sure shots. So that's gonna take up a lot of time. I have to open up all these separate little folders that I have within folders, within folders, within folders on my hard drive and pick out the songs. So that's why I still haven't been able to do that. It's on my to-do list. Every now and then I try to pick up a couple tracks here and there. I look at the crates that I already have and see if I can filter tracks out there, but you need to have that time. And right now, at this point in my life, I don't have a lot of spare time to do that. I have family life, I have my other obligations within music, so I don't have a lot of free time. But I'm working on getting to that situation. So sure shots, that's the first thing you want in there. Second of all, I want a selection of tracks that I know are gonna fit the situation so they have the right vibe, the right energy, but they might not be hits or hits yet, but they're tracks that I really like. So I know that they'll fit musically, sonically, and they represent my flavor because as a DJ, you wanna make sure that the first priority is to keep your crowd dancing, but you wanna show some personality as well. So if I have a banger, to me, it's a banger, and I know that in every sense it should be a banger, but it's just not a hit with the people yet. I still want it in there because I might be able to get it in between two hits so that they hear that track and after a while they might get used to it because you as a DJ, you have the ability to school people as well. Let them hear songs that they might not know. And if they hear that song two or three or four times or they hear two or three different DJs play it, it might stick. And the next time they hear it, they'll recognize it. And after a couple of times, they might even request that song. So, sure shots and bangers that aren't hit yet, but songs that represent what I like. Those are the first two things that I definitely want in there. And they're actually the most important things. Then, third, I'm gonna have some of the newest tracks that I just wanna be able to try out because I heard them, I like them, and I wanna try them. So in a way, they also fit with the second category that I was talking about, but I will have some new, new stuff in there as well. And that's gonna be added over time because you're always gonna have new songs. But that is the most important way I wanna organize my crates. It's pretty easy, not rocket science. I want crates that are filled with tracks that will keep the people dancing, but it's gonna take a lot of time to pick all those tracks out of my entire collection especially because I don't just play one new genre of music. So it's gonna be hip hop and R&B, and it's gonna be dance hall, and it's gonna be certain types of electronic music. And of course, I have a lot of old school music as well. So the first step is to know what kind of music, and then you have to figure out how you're gonna divide it. Because I'm not gonna make just one hip hop crate. I can do that. And in the past I have done that, but you might wanna make a little bit more separation within that because it's gonna make it easier. So for instance, I have a West Coast folder because a lot of times if I'm playing at a hip hop club, a uh, hip hop club, a hip hop party, and I go to some West Coast, especially at the old school parties, I'm not gonna play one West Coast track and then go back to some else. I'll probably do a couple in a row. So it's gonna make it a lot easier if I have that West Coast stack that I have 
within one folder because every track in that folder is gonna be something that will fit because it's all West Coast. I have one folder with my Dutch hip hop because I'm gonna play some Dutch hip hop. I don't wanna scroll through my entire hip hop crate to find the Dutch tracks. So I'll have that in a separate folder. Of course, that's one way to do it. You could also work with adding tags or adding comments and organizing your crate on that way. But I'm gonna talk about that. You need to see my screen capture so I can show you. But I'm just sharing my thought process when it comes to organizing crates and how I feel that it should be for me. For me. So my method might work for you, but I'm thinking about what's gonna work for me. So, I might even leave it at that, and I'm right in the middle of my story, but I don't want to make these videos too long, and I know I'm speaking, uh, uh, I'm saying a lot of different things, so there's going to be more than one more part to this, I know this right now. This is going to be part one of organizing your music, so stay tuned for part two, probably part three and part four, and I'm not going to keep you waiting too long, so the first one will be dropping within the next couple of weeks, so... Let's share the knowledge, yo. Leave your, uh, leave your method in the comment section down below. Click like if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on any of the future videos, including part two, three, and four of this topic. And I'll be back real soon this year and definitely in 2015.